What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today I've got episode two of the Holiday Tech Gift Guide series, where we've moved out into the price point of under 250 and under $100. So in the last episode, we had under $50 and under $25, which make great stocking stuffers, but also some nice tech accessories that anybody can use. We also have two more videos left covering products under $500 as well as over $1,000. So make sure you subscribe, have post notifications on, and also leave a like on this video if you're excited for that. So as always, we've got a ton of products in front of us at different price points, as well as different categories and just like a variety of everything. So if you wanna check out the best prices, I'm gonna drop them down below because a lot of these have actually gone on sale. So the first tech gift is probably the most obvious one, and that is the AirPods Pro, or even the original AirPods. And if you guys have seen some articles floating around, it is the gift that is on the top of the most people's holiday wish list for this year, and I'm pretty sure it was for last year as well. And with the new generation, there's a few different features that a lot of people are going to enjoy. The new AirPods Pro have active noise cancellation as well as better sound quality. It's got the same battery life and is also sweat resistance. And there is also a set of silicone ear tips now. So it does fit on pretty much anybody's ear. And even though the price point of $250 is very, very high, if you guys go and check out my budget ultimate tech gift guide, I also have a recommendation at just $50. So one gift that I think is great for all ages is the Nintendo Switch Lite, and this is good for anyone who travels a lot or has to commute each day and just want to play some games, some classics, Mario Kart for example, that you might have played growing up. And this right here being the Lite model comes in at a price point of just under $200. The battery life is very good, it's got a slim form factor, you've got your joysticks right here and it just fits in the bag very nicely. And just like that, you have access to over 2,000 games. The light version is one that doesn't work with the TV setup, but I feel like a lot of people tend to use the Nintendo Switch as kind of like a portable gaming console, so at the lower price, this is an excellent option. Next up, as someone who spends a lot of time on the computer each day, this is a new product that came out this year, the third generation of the MX Master Mouse from Logitech that I just can't live without. It is just so ergonomic, but beyond that, the scrolling has been improved, it is very nice to use, as well as the horizontal scrolling on the side, which is also now metal, but just like the way they've molded this mouse and kind of improved it over the years, makes it a perfect option for anyone who spends a lot of time on the computer. The MX Master line from Logitech is one that I've used for over five years and I have no plans to switch anytime soon. So I feel like especially in the last few years, smartphone cameras have gotten so good that a lot of people have actually gotten rid of their cameras and just use their smartphone for everything. And I feel like with that, and I feel like with that, you don't print your photos anymore, but instead just go ahead and post them to social media most of the time and share with friends. But with the Canon IV printer, you're able to print your photos out just from connecting your phone to it on iOS or Android. It is just two by three inches in size, so it fits in your bag very nicely, but it also prints out quite quickly and the quality is pretty decent for what it is. I feel like if you wanna like print it out and use it as like a scrapbook or just stick it on the wall, this is a pretty good option to have. So with speakers being one of the most popular gifts for the holiday season, the UE Wonderboom 2 is probably the best recommendation I have around $100. It comes in at around $79 and this is like the second generation and for its size, it is pretty loud and you've got the button control on the top, but it has like the 360 sound that UE has been doing an amazing job on in the past few years. The battery life on it is 13 hours and it is also IP67 rated, which means you can put it in the water for 30 minutes at one meter, which you're probably not gonna do. But it's just really nice to have like a durable speaker that you can take anywhere and it has pretty good sound quality. I also just really like like the fabric finish on the outside and you can also pair multiple units of this if you want to. So another great accessory that really takes advantage of great smartphone cameras nowadays is the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. And the reason why I recommend this is because at its price, it is probably the best value when it comes to a stabilizer. DJI has already done a great job in their drone category as well as with their professional stabilizers and they've kind of brought that technology over to their smartphone gimbals as well and generation after generation they have actually been lowering the price as well. Even though the build quality is definitely not the best, it is almost completely made out of plastic. It does fold up very nicely and I feel like for a gimbal like this, you probably don't really need the best build quality. You just want something that is light and ready to go at any time. You're able to record great stabilized video from your smartphone using this and even create some films in some cases if you use like a custom film app. There's also like a ton of smart modes, but honestly, I don't really use this beyond like basic smartphone gimbal moves, but for the price point, I think it is a steal. So another nice gift idea and something I've been using like every day for the last six months since I got it is the Bruce electric toothbrush. And this one is one of my favorites that I've used so far because even though a lot of electric toothbrushes are very similar, this one in particular as someone who travels a lot fits in this case and is one of the smallest fitting electric toothbrushes that I've had to date. Aside from that, it also looks very good. It's got a four week battery and also six different modes to pick from, but in general, it is just a very simple but effective electric toothbrush that also fits very nicely in portable cases. At just $69, it is cheaper, but also just as good as many of the more expensive electric toothbrushes that I've had in the past. 
Another great gift that is within this price range is a RAV Power SSD. And for anyone who creates like a lot of content, video, or photo, or just has like a computer that is running out of space, then this SSD gives you super fast speed and a very compact size. And as you can see here, it like literally fits in the palm of my hand. And just like that, you've got 512 gigs or one terabyte, depending on what model you get. The speeds are fast with a read speed of over 500 megabytes per second. And you also have a discount code down below if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out. But I feel like it is just an easy accessory. And personally, I can't have enough of these around the house. For those who have watched at this point in the video though, if you would like to win one item from this video, just make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below with your Instagram handle and follow me over on Instagram. And I'll be picking a winner in two weeks. If you know someone who has like a lot of smart home tech already, a great gift to kind of tie that whole experience together and bring it to the next level is like a Google Nest Hub. And this right here is a Nest Hub Mini. Google sent me a pink one, which is why this one is pink, but it does come in a few different colors. And I personally like the gray one. And I also have the larger version as well. You can normally find this for around $99, but if you guys keep a lookout for the prices, I have seen it around $79 quite often. And I feel like for what it is with the seven inch 1024 by 600 display, being able to view content as well as make calls, do Google Assistant, control your smart home and everything all in one. It is just such a nice piece to have in the house and it just looks very clean. Whether you wanna put it in like the kitchen, the living room or just as a bedside kind of accessory, this is like a very easy gift for the holiday season. Another gift that I feel like a lot of people might like, and it's like an overall classic, whether or not it is a tech product, it's not really a smartwatch or anything, is the Casio G-Shock. And this right here is in like a navy green color in the collaboration that Herschel did. And I feel like it does look pretty good, even though I'm not the biggest fan of green, but you've got the stopwatch, you've got the smart settings on it. And it's just like a classic, durable, iconic watch that makes an easy holiday gift for someone who might not have a watch yet or just likes to collect these. So the next gift idea I think is great for anyone who just moved out or they're going back to college and that is a Keurig coffee maker. And this right here is called the K Mini Plus and it is so compact that it is almost portable but still uses the same K-cup system that a lot of people might be used to. It is just 13 centimeters wide, looks super clean, simple and modern because a lot of coffee makers don't look that good, but it's just very simple. You go ahead and pop your cake up in, fill it up with water and it can do like a one cup serving. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video though of the price point of under $250 as well as under a hundred and I'll see you all in the next episode.